Greetings ladies and gentle fish and welcome to a replay in the tier 5 Japanese medium tank, the Chinu. Um, and as you can hopefully immediately see we are bottom tier, oh dear. And this tank is not fast and mobile enough to do much flanking, so we have to rely upon the gun. And the gun is not bad, but in a tier 7 game, it uh, might be looking a little bit ropey. But anyway, so we decide to go up here, uh, we've deployed with most of the rest of our team. I'm, I prefer fighting on this side of the map, but even if I didn't, I'm not going to waste time going to the other side of the map. It would just take so long, this thing is not particularly quick. But I have the stock engine in this game, I never bothered buying the upgraded engine because I was in a bit of a hurry at the time to get through this thing. Because of an event, I wanted the tier 6. Um, and you got the next engine automatically with the tier 6, so there we go. But if you're going to keep this, obviously I'd recommend getting the top engine. So we're just coming up here with all of our friends. Um, I'm not going to go up and, and get blatted, don't worry. Hopefully they can take the hits. What have we got? We've got an ARL over there using the 105mm gun by the look of it. Fair enough. And I'm just trying to use my gun depression to have a look, have a poke. Hello. Anyone there? Binos and Camonet. No. Oh, that's boring. So this is a tier 7 game and the AP on this gun has 125 damage, 124 pen, which is not bad. The HE meh, isn't great, I'm not going to lie to you, 175 and 38 pen. And the APCR, the penetration goes up to 155 from 124. It's not a massive penetration buff, and I've noticed this with a lot of these Japanese tanks. They have another form of armor piercing as their premium round, as their higher penetration round, and the penetration buff that it gets is okay, but it's not massive. Anyway, Panzer IV. Bop. And he dies. Well, we got hit in. Only a tier 5 medium, but you know what? Every little helps. And hello, Mr. DK. How are you today? Ah, oh, bounce. Ooh. Don't want bounces, want penetrations and damages. Ow. Hello, Mr. DK. Thank you for angling your tanks so that I can have shots in your side armor. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, that's sad and not very fun. And I can't shoot that TD. But it's okay, because somebody else could. Oh, no, that was a different TD. My apologies. Oh, no, it wasn't even a TD. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I couldn't shoot that TD and ooh hello, ooh hello targets, ooh lovely lovely targets. So let's have a pop at this tiger, and the armor on the tiger isn't brilliant. So unless the uh, tiger is going to angle like a boss, this gun can put some pain onto him, which is good because that's what we want at the end of the day. Obviously, we don't want to just sit there doing nothing. Oh, they're behind a the rock, how dull. Ooh, 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 go on, poke yourself out, you know you want to. Yeah. Oh, they're really just hugging cover and being sensible and terribly. Ooh, Hellcat, boring. Haha, <laughs> 129 into the Hellcat. Now, if I thought my next shot was going to be at that Hellcat again, I'd probably load HE here. But I'm not sure. This guy appears to be hugging the rock after I popped him. Ooh! And there's a tiger. Now, from this angle, your best shots are probably into the side of the turret. But he's turning his turret, but it's okay because he's also flattening the, out the angle to his hull. So we'll just shoot him in the side. 
And everyone wins. Well, apart from him, of course. Oh dear, that was annoying. And move up. Nas horn. Woo, we get a shot into the Nas horn. No shots at him. Oh, hello. Miss. Boring. Bounce. Oh, Hellcat just smacks him. So we're currently, it's pretty even at the moment. Um, we're currently losing by one tank. And there's less than half of the game left. This is obviously an assault game we're on the attacking team. I probably should have said that at the beginning. But um, hopefully it was reasonably obvious. And yes, I'm just going to camp in this bush, bush like a coward because I know the tank I'm driving. Ooh, shots into that BK. Jolly good. He's taking fire. He appears to be moving forward, which means I'll get another shot into him. Can I reload before he hits cover? No idea. Nashorn's going to be a pain, so we're going to put a bit of pain into the Nashorn. Nashorn's armor is made of tissue paper and wishful thinking. I probably should have loaded HE there, but it didn't really matter. Oh, Tiger P, Tiger P. <laughs> Jammy shot into the Tiger P's commander's hatch there. <laughs> and suddenly we one tank up. So, you know, we're bottom tier here. We're just doing what we can. Um, and what we can, apparently, is chip away at these guys in a very irritating fashion. <laughs> Hello, Mr. KV. Oh, T-34. Oh, he's dead. Oh, oh, VK. VK! Go on, pull out, dude. Pull out. That sounds a bit weird. That was not what I intended. Better in my head. Never mind. The Tiger P has been taken care of, so we can put shots into this KV-1S. What we could even if the Tiger P hadn't been taken care of, but it's one less dude to worry about. Ugh. Bounce. Oh, VK's poking himself out. Miss. KV's poking himself out. Reload, 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 reload. Oh, no, he's just pushing. No, no, he's not. Oh, tracked him. So I request fire on the guy because he's tracked, and so an easy target. And also because it will net me some XP. And whoa, T49, you cheeky little blighter. Can't remember, do I do something about that T49? Probably. Especially because he's being really annoying. Whoa, VK's seen me. Oh, because that T49 is going to spot me. Because he's an annoying little sod. So we're two tanks up, but there's only two and a half minutes of the game left. If this T49 just runs away, there's a good chance that we're going to struggle. Well, oh no, we could still cap, I suppose, because they've only got the um, VK otherwise. Oh dear. So the KV-1S. But the KV-1S does manage to take out our VK. But it's okay because the T-49 wants to charge forward anyway. It's the, not that my gunner is up to doing anything about it, I'm afraid. Oh, sometimes I really do need to lead my shots better. That's a bit of a weak spot of mine. Someone tracks him. Jolly good. Oh, he appears to be looking at me. That's bad. He is, but he missed his shot. And we don't miss ours. Good night, sweet prince. Two kills. And someone blasts the T-49. And that's game. And we ended up getting Confederate and doing something like 1800 damage in a tier 5 in a tier 7 game. And getting two kills, which is none too shabby. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please feel free to catch some other videos or subscribe or whatever. Uh, and I wish you the very best of luck and happy hunting on the battlefield.